Channel 3 Early Warning Weather. All right, we'll go on a little iCam tour from across Connecticut. Start off in the Northwest Hills with our uh, camera here in Torrington, showing some of those high clouds kind of dimming the sun at times, but otherwise a lot of melting getting underway here across Litchfield County. Given the sun, given that as well, temperatures today have warmed well into the 40s throughout Northwest Connecticut, 50s elsewhere. Our iCam view from uh, our capital city, looking to the southeast, there's Main Street. Uh, we've got the uh, Pulaski Circle there, the eastern extent of, uh, of Bushnell Park. Uh, we've got, again, some filtered sun. 53 degrees, though, in our capital city. A bit of a bluer, brighter scene coming in from our uh, ICAM in New Haven. There's th 360 State Street looking off toward the east. And from uh, southeastern Connecticut, our view from New London. Some of those clouds overhead, but plenty of rays of sun there reaching the, uh, the ferry. Uh, 49 uh, in the Groton, New London area. So within a degree or two of 50 along the 95 corridor, Again, Brainerd Airport 53. We've got mid 40s in the Northwest Hills. The quiet corner 47 Putnam 50 right now. Willimantic 53 currently in Norwich. So a really pleasant afternoon underway and the wind again nowhere near as strong as it has been. A westerly component around 5 to 15 miles an hour. So region wide you can see some of those clouds off to our north spilling south. We're at a couple of flurries up near the Canadian border. A couple of sprinkles across eastern Massachusetts here in Connecticut. Just some of those clouds building overhead. But uh, all in all uh, we've got a storm system heading our way tomorrow that could bring us a change chance for some showers, but outside of that, the next seven days, basically quiet and comfortable with temperatures near, if not above average. Uh, the one exception will be Sunday. Uh, so looking at the big picture here again, we've got a storm system to moving through the middle part of the country uh, from the uh, upper Midwest all the way through the southern plains. Tornado watch up for parts of Texas and Oklahoma right now. This storm basically tracks to our northwest through eastern Canada. And by the time it gets here later tomorrow, outside of some clouds, maybe some some sprinkles. So as we head into early Saturday morning, the front is moving offshore. So behind that, uh, we're going to see plenty of sunshine for our Saturday. A few clouds mix in through the afternoon and basically more of the same on tap for Sunday. But Sunday will be a little bit cooler compared to Saturday as uh, the cool air will be uh, delayed behind that front. So overnight tonight, Upper 20s and low 30s, outer or below freezing in the Litchfield Hills where we still have some snow cover elsewhere inland mid 30s, upper 30s along the 95 corridor. Then tomorrow looking for increasing cloudiness, chance for a spotty late day shower. Otherwise, upper 40s near 50 throughout the uh, quiet, uh, the, the northwestern hills of Litchfield County, mid 50s elsewhere inland, low 50s on the shoreline. So tomorrow a little bit cooler along the shoreline given the southwesterly flow coming in across the cooler water of the sound. Then for the weekend, Saturday 51, plenty of sun, breezy on Sunday and cooler. Normal highs around 47, 48, so we'll be in the 40 to 45 degree range on Sunday. The breeze will make it feel a bit chillier. And then as we welcome in the spring season on Monday with the uh, vernal equinox at 524, we're back up to 50. 50 or better through next week and by next Thursday, perhaps well into the mid 50s. And again, outside of that shower chance late tomorrow, once we get past tomorrow, partly to mostly sunny basically sums up the next uh, six to seven days.